A blessed Wednesday, everyone. This is Sister Carmela Braganza of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. As soon as Jesus and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door, and he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed, and Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. This typical day in Jesus' ministry in today's Gospel gives us a glimpse of the future challenges that await him. The healing of Peter's mother-in-law happens on the Sabbath. The freedom with which Jesus interprets the Sabbath law arouses the hostility of the scribes and Pharisees, for it clashes with their own teaching, and Jesus' growing popularity endangers the status quo and their own interests. Simon Peter's desire to bring Jesus back to the limelight and satisfy public demand typify the disciples' misunderstanding of Jesus' mission and their participation in it. Thinking in worldly terms, they see their association with Jesus as an opportunity to launch their own career. Jesus will take pains to align their motivations with the Father's plan. Sisters and brothers, today's Gospel also shows us the resource from which Jesus draws the strength to complete his demanding mission. Despite attending to people's needs, even after sunset, Jesus rises early in the next day and he spends the first hours in intimate conversation with his Father. This relationship with God is his anchor. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are showing us that the more intense our activities are, the more we should pray. Help us to internalize this lesson. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that 
we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.